Teacher? Teacher? Hola, hola. Me escucha. Yes. So, number four. Yes. Someone... yes, 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 teacher. Samuel, creo que no me escucha. Teacher. Yes, me... teacher. Yes, teacher. Usted sí estaba correcta. Yeah, number three, it's open. Okay, mm -hmm. the swimming pool open at 7.30 every morning. Thank you, Samuel Davy, number four. Uh, bad, bad driving, uh, cows, money accident. Money okay. accident. Thank you, bad driving, cows, many accidents. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. The next one will be for Jancy. Jancy Herminia, number five, please. My parents mm -hmm. live. My parents live in a um, very small flat. Okay, perfect. My parents live in a very small flat. What is a flat? Do you know what is a flat? No. No, nadie sabe que es un flat? No, teacher. No, that's, teacher. That's an apartment, no. okay? A flat um, is an apartment, um, okay? So in British, they don't say apartment, they say flat. Okay, the next one, Sara Guzman, number six. Okay, teacher. Uh, the Olympic game take place every four, four years. Thank you. The Olympic games take place every four years. Nice. So the last one, Sofia. Sofia Antonieta, please. Okay, the Panama mm -hmm. Channel or Canal? Canal, the, the Panama Canal. Okay, the Panama Canal connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Okay, thank you, nice. So we have one extra uh, right here, uh, another exercise, but now we are going to do it at in small groups, okay? So I don't know if you can take a picture of this and you can do it together, okay? So I'm going to create rooms. Voy a hacer unos grupitos ahorita y en el grupo se van a trabajar esto en unos cinco minutitos lo más, okay? So how you have to put the birds in the correct form and at the end in exercise three, we need to uh, do the sentence. For example, if we have a positive, we need a negative. If we have a positive right there, we need a question, okay? So let's do it together, okay? Les voy a crear acá rapidito para que se puedan unir a unos pequeños grupos, okay? So let me create right here the rooms. So it will be five groups only, okay? So it will be just for five minutes, okay? So let's join it right now.
Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hola, hola. Creo que algunos se quedaron en esta meeting. Hello, hello. Um, let's see who's here. Jennifer, can you hear me? Hello, hello, Jennifer. Hi. Hi, teacher. So uh, you are just joining the meeting right now. Ahorita se va uniendo. Hace unos 15 minutos. Ah, okay, so we are in breakup rooms right now. Estamos en unos uh, breakup rooms. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, but um, ya nos vamos a regresar ahorita in 50 minutes. So we will be in the main room one more time. Todos van a regresar nuevamente acá al main room. Okay. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Recording in progress. Hello, 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 can hello. you hear me? Okay, perfect. We are in the uh, main room one more time, okay? Ya los traje de nuevo por acá, okay? So, listen, uh, this is for everyone, okay? Siempre que vamos así rapidito a un breakup room, vamos a un grupito con los mismos compañeros. Si es rapidito, no. acuérdense que no tenemos mucho tiempo, entonces tenemos que hacer eso rapidito, cuando usted llegue a su break up room, si el compañero no quiere hablar, hágalo hablar usted, dígale, vaya compañero, ¿qué ponemos aquí? ¿Qué hacemos? ¿Cómo va? ¿Qué piensa? ¿Qué cree usted? ¿Qué hacemos? Pero no se queden en silencio, ¿ok? Ustedes tienen que, tienen que hacer que hable, si ahí alguien no quiere hablar, Haga lo que hable, usted dígale, ok? So we have five minutes to do this, ok? Let's do it quickly, let's do it right now. Y ahí, ¿verdad? Vaya usted presionando al compañero para que hable. Si no, nos quedamos ahí cortitos con la, con la información, ok? So espero que sí hayan logrado eh, unirse y este, a completar esto, ok? So we will see right now. We will see right now. Um, let me, let me see who. Sofia, Eugenia, thank you. Could you please read number one and number two from exercise two? You are on mute, Sofia. 
Okay. Thank you. Um, uh, what time? Mm -hmm. What time the bank uh, closes? Mm -hmm. And the auxiliary. Ahí tenemos que what? poner el auxiliar. Mm -hmm. What time does? Okay. The bank close. The bank here. Mm -hmm. what, time, what time does? That's the bank here. Mm -hmm. Son bancos. If you see, es un plural. Es do, do, do. Mm -hmm. What time do? Perfect. Bank. What time do the banks, banks close, here. close here. here? Okay. Remember, we need the WH question. We need the auxiliary. We need the subject. We need the verb. And we need the complement and the question mark, right? What time do the do. banks close here? Thank you. Perfect. Nice. Uh, let's see. Number three. Number three will be for, uh, let's see who, aquí no le hemos preguntado. Um, Cindy. Cindy Marilu. Number three. Uh, I have got a car, but I don't use it much. Okay. I got a car. I got a car but I don't use it much, okay? No lo uso mucho, right? Tengo carro, pero no lo uso mucho. I don't use it much. Thank you. Nice. Uh, let's see. The next one is for uh, Senia, Patricia. You are on mute, Senia. Uh, sorry. Thank you. Where uh, doesn't um, Ricardo come? Mm -hmm. Where doesn't? Mm, this one is from... positive. It's positive. It's not a negative. It's a positive question. Where? Where? Where do from? Mm -hmm. Where where do do um, or does? Where where does mm -hmm. Ricardo? From Ricardo. Okay, thank you. It says where does Ricardo come from? Ok, where does Ricardo come from? Como que yo le estoy diciendo de dónde es Ricardo en Spanish, right? Where does Ricardo come from? Nice. Uh, Walter, Wilfredo, Walter, Wilfredo, number five, please. What do you do? Perfect. What do you do? What do you do? Abigail Villalta, number six. It takes me an hour to get to work. How long does it take you? Thank you. It, it does me an hour to get to work. How long does it take you? Okay. So, como que yo le diga, a mí me toma una hora ir al trabajo. ¿Cuánto tiempo te toma a ti? Right? So, how long does it take you? Uh, nice. Let's see, Tatiana Lopez, number seven. Esa no le he hecho todavía. Okay, no problem. Let's see, let's see who. Uh, Remberto, Alejandro. Remberto. Okay, look at this sentence. What does this mm -hmm. word mean? Thank you. Look at this sentence. What does this word mean? Okay, ¿qué significa esta palabra? Right, what does this word mean? And the last one, let's see, Janet. Janet del Rosario, I guess. Number eight. Janet. Mm 
No. Hello, teacher. Yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, Davy, is it very fate or fit? He doesn't any sport. Okay, Davy isn't very fit. He doesn't do any sport. Remember auxiliary and verb. Okay, no me dejen el verbo. Siempre tiene que ir ahí. He doesn't do any sport. Negative, porque aquí tenemos el not, right? Nice. Let's do the last part, okay? Let's do it quickly para poder avanzar. Let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jennifer Lemus, Jennifer Lemus. The positive sentence is, she sits on a chair, okay? She sits on a chair. Now we need the negative. Okay. She doesn't sit on a chair. Okay, aquí ya no le pongo S al verbo, ¿verdad? Aquí en, pres, en positivo, sí. She sits. But in this case, since I have the auxiliary, she does. Uh, she doesn't sit without S. Aquí ya no le agrego S, right? On a chair. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Lisette Esmeralda, the next one. You read a book. We have a question. Lisette Esmeralda, we need a question right here. You read a book. Lisette Esmeralda? Hola. Yes, we need a, a question right there. Hola, hola, Lisette Esmeralda. Hola. Yes, I don't know if you are seeing the screen. Okay, we have a positive sentence right there that says you read a book. And we need the question for that sentence. Um, ahí sería pregunta, ¿verdad? Exactly. You, you read? Auxiliary. Hello? We need the auxiliary first. Okay, no problem, no problem, uh, Lisette. Oh. Let's see, uh, Roxana Patricia, help us. Ayúdenos ahí, please, question. Do you read a book? Perfect, do you read a book? Nice. We have now a negative sentence that says, Mary doesn't like apples. Sara Guzman, we need a positive sentence, okay? This one is negative, Mary doesn't like apples. Now we need a positive. Okay, hello? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, thank you. Okay, okay. Mary, uh, Mary does like apple. Mm -hmm. But that is? The negative, Mary doesn't like apples. So now we need the positive sentence. Uh, the positive sentence. Mm -hmm. hey, Mary, mm -hmm. Mary does like apple, apples. Mm -hmm. Remember, uh, Saram, this is for everyone. When we have a positive sentence, we don't have an auxiliary. Ahí no lleva auxiliar. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, Mary like apple. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Sería, Sara, Mary like o Mary likes. ¿Cómo sería? Mary, Mary like, porque es tercera persona. There you go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Mary likes apples. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Carla, the last one. My dog plays with a ball. Now negative. 
My dog doesn't play with a ball. Perfect. Thank you. Doesn't play. Okay. That's what we have. So let's continue with this. I'm sorry que no hago más grande la pantalla, pero creo que eso me, me afecta y me frisa si lo pongo grande el screen. That's why we are seeing it like in a small way. Okay. But I guess that you are able to see. Uh, let's see. Seneida, could you please help me with the reading? Uh, uh, help me with reading this lesson objective, please. Seneida. By the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using regular verbs. Thank you. Okay, that's what we will do. By the end of this class, we will be able to make sentences, okay, statements. Now we will see irregular bursts, okay? Let's see what we have right here. Look, we have the simple present questions, okay? Es lo que acabamos de ver en el ejercicio que acabamos de completar. Do and does, okay? We are clear when we are going to use do and when we are going to use does, okay? So if I say, do you get up early? No, I get up late. Okay, does he have lunch at noon? No, he eats lunch at one o'clock. Do they try to work? Yes, they try to work every day. So we have the auxiliaries right here. And we have the rules, okay? Did you remember las rules que vimos ayer de los verbos, right? No es que a todo le voy a poner ese. Vimos ahí unas excepciones de los verbos para tercera persona, he, she, it, okay? Now we have right here WH questions also. Aquí hay unas preguntas con WH questions que dice, what time do you get up, okay? What time do you get up? At 10 o'clock. What time does he have lunch? At one o'clock. Uh, when do they try to work? Okay, when do they try to work? Every day, every day. Okay, so let's see if we are able to complete the questions that we have right here, okay? So we need to use do or does. Okay, look, we have 10 sentences. No sé si las logran ver o... No lo puedo hacer, creo que un poquito más grande. Es que me da miedo compartir así a screen, as big a screen y que se me frise. Se mira, teacher, ¿está bien? Sí, logran mira. Sí, okay. sí, sí, claro. So, let's do it together, ¿ok? Be ready with the uh, audio, right? Estén ahí listos para activar su audio micrófono, ¿ok? Let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, number one is the example. Do you get up early? On week dates, which ones are week days? ¿Qué es esto de week days? Días de la semana. Ajá, ok. Weekends sería sábado y domingo, right? Fin de semana. Pero if I say week dates, estoy hablando from Monday to Friday, ok? Nice. Uh, let's see, Walter, number two, Walter. Lo siento, teacher, no entendí muy bien lo que vamos a hacer. Ok, no problem, Walter. You need to complete the sentences, ok? Hay que completar estas questions usando el do o el does, ok? Number two. Vamos a ver, ayúdele Tatiana, Tatiana López. Number two. What time do... What time do you, you go home? Perfect. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Tatiana. What time do you go home? Okay. So, Tatiana, the next one, number three. Um, does your mother work? Okay. Does. Okay. Does your mother work? Nice. Uh, Jennifer, Jennifer Lemus. I don't know if you're able to see number four. Pasar un okay. proceso de aceptación para calificar How como experto. Does o your father get up? Si no, Thank you. How Hola, does mujer. your father get Hola. to work? <coughs> ok, pongan mute ahí, creo que, esperen, voy a silenciar por aquí porque hay alguien ahí con otra conversación. Ok, sorry. So, Number four, how does your father get to work, okay? Sofia, Eugenia, number five. Teacher, 
Uh, do your parents read in the evening? Okay, do your parents read in the evening? Nice. Uh, the next one, Cindy, Marilu, number six. When do your parents shop? Okay, when do your parents shop? The meaning of that sentence is como cuando van tus papás a comprar, right? A, a, al super o hacer las compras, right? When do your parents shop? Perfect. Then we have number seven, eight, nine, and ten that we can all create our own sentences, okay? But we will do later, okay? Look, we have some time expressions right here, okay? Estas son expresiones de tiempo, okay? Cuando nosotros estamos usando el presente simple, we mentioned that we are going to use the simple present for everyday activities, right? For routines, dijimos, para eso yo ocupo el presente simple. So, las time expressions o las expresiones que yo voy a usar en el presente simple deben de hacer match, deben de ir en concordancia con el tiempo gramatical que yo estoy usando, en este caso el presente simple, ok? So, we have some examples right here for time expressions, ok? We can say early, late, every day, at night, at noon, at midnight, at night. So, what is at midnight? Si yo le digo, I study at midnight. Medianoche. 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 Okay, medianoche, right? At noon, ya dijimos que es al mediodía, right? Así decimos nosotros, son las 12 del mediodía. So that is at noon, las 12 de la medianoche, that is midnight, okay, midnight. So then also we have in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on weekends, on week. Days. So, estas expresiones usted puede acompañarlas con el presente simple. Es decir, usted tiene que poner el complemento. Como en español yo digo, yo me levanto todos los días a las 5 de la mañana. So, esa es una rutina. Todos los días, o al menos de lunes a viernes, yo me levanto a las 5. So, en English, I get up at 5 in the morning every day. So, that would be, ahí yo meto la time expression que va asociada al presente simple. Ok, later, usted va a ver allá en el siguiente módulo el presente continuo, usted va a ver allá en el otro módulo el pasado y ahí va a ocupar pre, eh, time expressions para el pasado. Ok, so this is time expressions for you to talk about the present okay so let's see what else do we have right here okay we have the next part right here and we are going to scramble scramble the questions to complete the conversation then ask the partner the questions answer with your own information so we are going to do this okay what is um scramble mire la indicación um, scramble. ¿Qué es eso de um, scramble? Si le apareciera un examen, imagínense y le dice um, scramble de sentences. Como intercambiar. Ordenar. Ordenar. Muy bien. Quiere decir que las palabras que no, nos están dando acá están desordenadas. Y nosotros las tenemos que ordenar en el orden correcto, en el lugar apropiado. Vean el número uno. Number one is the example. It says you every day exercise do. So, ¿cómo pongo esto? Y le tengo que poner el auxiliar. Do you exercise every day? Ahí ya está ordenadita. Ok. So, ahí está entre paréntesis desordenado. Ok. Y usted tiene que ordenarlo. Y agregar el auxiliar do or does, dependiendo del sujeto, ¿verdad? Veamos number two. Number two. Uh, veamos quién, quién no le hemos preguntado. Uh, let's see. Jancy, one more time. Ya creo que ya les pregunté a todos. Jancy, Herminia, number two. We have you, what time, lunch, do, eat. ¿Cómo quedaría la oración ahí?
Yes, Mason. Se me perdió. Mi coach. Mm, no, Wendy, I say. ¿A quién fue que le dije? Ya no la veo. Well, no sé qué se me hizo la participante. So, let's see. Uh, ok, Wendy. Go ahead, Wendy. <laughs> ya que usted insiste. <laughs> What time do you eat lunch? What time? What time do you eat lunch? Perfect. What time do you eat lunch? At 1 p.m. That's the answer, okay? Let's see. Abigail uh, Villalta, number three. Does this class start at eight o'clock? Mm -hmm. Does this class start at eight o'clock? Okay. No, this class start at nine o'clock. Perfect. And the last one, rapidito. Uh, let's see. Carla, the last one. When do you study English? Perfect. When do you study English? I study English in the evening. Okay, nice. So I'm going to stop sharing. It's almost time. And I'm sorry que me pasé ahí cinco minutitos, pero es por tiempos de desconexiones que hemos tenido. Bueno, yo he tenido. Eh, sorry for this, but uh, we are learning. Okay, we are in the process. So I hope to see you tomorrow. Ok, mañana seguimos con estos ejercicios siempre del presente simple. Estamos terminando la unidad 1. Quiere decir que usted en la plataforma tiene que llevar más de la unidad 1. Usted puede llegar hasta la unidad 5 de ser posible. Ok, so thank you so much for your time. Los dejo rapidito porque tengo la otra clase de las 9. Ok, ya me están esperando también. Ok, so thank you. See you tomorrow. Ok, mañana nos conectamos nuevamente. Ok. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.